Hello, Osmin. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight, Osmin? Hi, how are you, okay, teacher? And you? I'm very good. Thanks for asking me. How was your day? How was uh, how was on your day, teacher? Okay, my day was very busy and very tired. What about you? What was your day? It was, uh, I I am tired. I work in today. Oh, you work the whole day. Yes, I I work. Okay, that's great. So do you remember yesterday topic? What were we talking about yesterday? Uh, just, uh, yesterday, and, and ayer no, no me pude conectar, teacher, <laughs> Ah, okay. You were late yesterday. You worked late yesterday. I'm sorry to hear that, right? So today we're going to start a new section, and this is the last section of the platform, which is section number five. And tonight we're going to talk about the present perfect. ¿Ya había oído de ese tiempo? Ah, sí, 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 justo. Ahorita he estado trabajando en esa. En esa parte. Ah, ok, that's great. Uh, section 5. In the section number 5. Ok, está adelantando trabajo para la próxima. That's yes, great. Yes. Ah, ok, congratulations. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. It's good to tell them that you're nice. Sorry, I don't get it. Okay. I can't listen to you very well, Edwin. Maybe it's my internet. Uh, or that could be, that could be. Or maybe mine. We don't know, right? So welcome to the class, Edwin. Nice to see you tonight. Hello, Christia. Welcome to the class. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. And you? I'm perfect. Thanks for asking me. Welcome. Hello, Christina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm okay. How was your day? It was a little tired, but everything is okay. Okay, that's great. So, welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about the platform exercises uh, or the final exam? Any question about those? Teacher, eh, bueno, yo aprovechando en, la, en el examen final, eh, literal, como decimos a buen salvadoreño, me ha dado duro. En la primera y en la última oración le he dado vuelta, he hecho mil cosas y no me sale la... Porque son como una opción de pregunta y la otra como, como oración, digamos, o, y, y no, no me sale honestamente. Entonces, pedí, la, pedí el apoyo, pero nadie respondió. Ok, let me see. Uh, you say the final exam. Sí. ¿Cuál ejercicio del final exam? ¿Which exercise? El último. Donde oh, están las, las oraciones sí. al revés y tenemos que ordenarlas. Mm. The last one is a reading. Eh, um, tiene que ser la siguiente. The before the last one is, but they were in order to make sentences. Okay. No. Let me show you. Okay. Okay.
Wait, wait a second. Is this exercise? Is this exercise, Cristina? Eh, sí. Mm -hmm. Justo es la, el uno y el último, es el cuatro, creo. En esas tuve problemas. Okay, let's see. We have is gorgeous, feliz, and, and Christy here really in. So it says put the words in the correct order to my sentences or questions. So this is a sentence, right? Uh -huh. So, ¿ya probó alguna de estas tres opciones? En, bueno, en nuestra plataforma no dan esas opciones. <laughs> Ah, ok. No, it is because I have, ya tuve este curso, entonces lo realicé hace algún tiempo y queda guardado. Uh -huh, I don't uh -huh. know why. So, Christy is in her series and really gorgeous. Uh -huh. He probado mucho. <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok, let's try this. Christy is really gorgeous and Christy is really gorgeous and in her series. Series. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Let's click on send and yes, that is right. Oh that is right. Okay. So, Christy is really gorgeous uh -huh. and in and her series. Uh -huh. And Oops. then let's go with the last one. In uh -huh. the last one, I have all person next day, Jason, coach, who's sitting there. And this is a question. So we are going uh -huh. to start with who's, right? Who's, uh -huh. who's the person sitting on the coach next to Jason? Okay. So let's click on fan. And yes, that is the right answer. Ok, ok. Creo que ahí la contracción quizá es la que estaba como mal, porque a veces la plataforma reconoce como por ejemplo el who is, o a veces el who's, porque antes ya me había dado problemas hasta que lo ponía como contractado, entonces creo que en esta, pues la contracción. Ok, podría ser, ¿verdad? Porque a veces nosotros ponemos la tilde, ¿verdad? La que usamos en español. Ajá. Ajá. Y por eso no okay. da error. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ok. Ok, anybody has a problem on the platform exercises? We can check it right now. Do you have any question? Teacher, resolvamos el examen final. Ah, todavía no, todavía tienen tiempo para hacer eso. Las... Tienen que terminar hasta la siguiente semana, ¿verdad? ¿Quién ya resolvió el examen final? ¿Alguien más ya lo finalizó? No varía. Ok. Let's go then with tonight class. Today we are going to study the present perfect. The, do you remember the simple past of the verb? ¿Se acuerdan del pasado simple de los verbos? Let's see, for example, it. ¿Cuál es el pasado de este verbo, it? When. It went eight. Ok, eight. Pero when también es el pasado de un verbo. Es el verbo go. Verbo go. When is the simple past. Excellent. El verbo study. Do you remember the simple past of the verb? Study. 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 It's very good. Now let's see work. What is the simple past thing of work? Work. 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 Word. Excellent. Word. What about give? Give. El verbo dar. Give. Gave. Gave es el simple past. Ok, aparte del pasado simple, no sé si ya, bueno, probablemente ya han visto una lista de verbos. En inglés tiene tres columnas. ¿Cuál es la siguiente columna que tiene? <coughs> Por ejemplo, we have it. Yes. Hay una columna donde está el pasado simple que es a y hay una, una otra columna, ¿verdad? Que dice participle. Past participle. <coughs> y aparece eaten. Eaten. 
Ese es el past participle. Then we have go when. And en esta columna, en la tercera de columna, tenemos gone. So that is the past participle of the verb. And that is the that is the time that we need to make the present perfect. So that is what we are going to study tonight. So let's start with this. Let's go with tonight's topic. Today is our class number 12. Después de esta ya solo nos quedarían four classes, right? So we are going to finish on Friday 4. Friday, November 4. Because we have a day off, right? On November the 2nd. So we are going to have classes next Friday, but next Friday, not tomorrow. So present perfect, that is the topic for tonight. So let's start with this objective. In this section, we will study the present perfect as an answer question using the present perfect with regular and irregular past participles. What is the difference between regular and irregular verbs? Do you remember that? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre verbos regulares e irregulares? Do you remember? The irregular verbs have some rules. Ok, excellent. Regular verbs have some rules to make the simple past. Um, now the irregular verbs, every verb has its own form in the simple past. So let's start with this. Mm -hmm. Look at this verb list. So let's see, can you find open? What is the simple past of open? Open it. Okay, excellent. So those are regular verbs. Todos estos son verbos regulares. And we have a take, add, add, behave, carry, clear, close, compare, compete, describe, die, disagree, and so on. We have a lot of them here. So, en los verbos regulares, el, la columna que nos interesa para el presente perfecto es la tercera columna, como les mencionaba anteriormente, que es el past participle, el participio pasado de cada verbo. Este es el que vamos a utilizar en este tiempo, junto con el auxiliar have. Es this, this one. En el caso de los verbos regulares, el mismo pasado simple es el pasado participio. Entonces, no hay mucho problema. Let's see, for example, died, died, died. Then, and, ended, ended. It's the same, right? Es la misma forma del pasado simple, el participio pasado. Let's say a lot of this list. This is a list of irregular verbs. So now let's say a lot of this. Away, awok, awoken. So it's different, right? It's different. Again, we need to learn one by one. We need to learn by heart one by one. So B was where and the participle is being. Then we have, for example, lose, perder. Then we have loss. And loss is the participle in this. So irregular verb. Drain, drunk, drunk. Eat, hey. Eaten, then fall, fell, fallen, fly, flew, flown. So we are going to use these, these. For present perfect tense, we need the past participle of the verb. So the third, the third column here. I'm going to share with you a list of verbs. Right? So, so you, I'm going to share that on the WhatsApp group. I guess after the class. Right? So you can learn then. Or the look of them. Let's see. Let's see if you remember the meaning of some of these birds. Let's see. Uh, review. What is the meaning of this one? Review. Repaso. Okay. Or okay. Repasar. Yes, Enjoy, for example, what is the meaning of this one? Enjoy. Disfrutar. Excellent. What about jump? Saltar. Jump. Okay, excellent. Behave. Mm. Behave. 
comportarse. Tiene que ser más. Yes, comportarse. That is the meaning of the hate. Uh, what about die? Morir. Okay. And let's see another one. Hunt. What's the meaning of this verb? Cazar. Yes, cazar, right? And fix. Arreglar. Arreglar, reparar. I can see that you know a lot of them. Let's see, match. There is an easy one, match. Mucho. Mm, no, match. Como conectar. conectar. Relacionar, algo así. Relacionar, emparejar, muy bien. That is match. And the key, one. There is a common one. Gustar. Mm, no, not really. Querer. Querer. I want to be a chef. I want to be a chef. I want to be a doctor. Okay, now let's go with the question. Yes. Eh, bueno, eh, con ese want en, en el simple past y en el, en el pasado participio, wanted. Bueno, me voy a basar a, a los rótulos que salen muchas veces en las películas, que dice want, eh, se busca. Mm, tería, requerido. Ah, ok, ok. okay. En el caso de los Entonces, rótulos, sí. dice, de las películas de Western Movies, when you can see some poster with the photo of a crime criminal, then they want it como requerido. Ok, teacher, I understand. Thank you. Ok, great. So, let's go with the regular bird. So, let's see this one, for example, dream. Do you know the meaning of this bird? Dream? Dream. What is the meaning of dream? Soñar. Thank you so much. What about sleep? Dormir. 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 Ok, ya estoy Dormir. pensando en la cama, que es sleep and dream. And let's see, think. Pensar. Pensar, ok. Right. Right. Manejar. Mm, no, no really. Montar. Montar, uh -huh. yes, montar. And hold. Sostener. Thank you so much. Sostener. Fight. Pelear. Pelear. Ok, excellent. I can see that you know this bird, right? So let's see, don't forget about past participle. This is that we are going to use. Then let's go with the next word. And to make sentences in present perfect, we need to use this auxiliary have and has. Have and has tiene dos funciones. Una es como verbo y la otra es como auxiliar. Como verbo significa tener y como auxiliar significa any idea. What is the meaning of the auxiliary how? An idea? Eh. Muy bien. Sí, es eh, verdad, sería uno de sus usos. Entonces, ver how, ver how means tener. Auxiliary how, como un auxiliar. Auxiliary how means. A ver. A ver. That is the meaning of this auxiliary. So let's take a look of the first sentence. I have eaten almond cookies. And what is the meaning of that sentence? I have eaten almond cookies. Yo he comido galletas de almendra. Okay. Excellent translation. Thank you. So, eh, yo he comido. You have done a cool son. You have done a cool son. What is the meaning of this sentence? Tú has cantado. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. You, tú has cantado una canción eh, genial. Tú has cantado una canción genial. He has done very well. 
She has danced very well. Ella bailó muy bien. Ella ha bailado ver, muy bien. Yeah. Ella ha bailado muy bien. Thank you. Eh, he has watched the movie three times. Él ha visto la película tres veces. Ella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it has been cloudy the whole week. It has been cloudy the whole week. Ha estado nublado toda la semana. Thank you so much. Yes, that is the right meaning of this. Uh, we have washed the car a thousand of times. We have washed the car a thousand of times. Hemos lavado el coche miles de veces. Excellent, thank you. And they have swan in the river. They have swan in the river. That is the last sentence. Ellos, ellos han nadado en el río. Ellos han nadado en el río. Ellos, okay, okay. Ellos. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a utilizar este auxiliar? So, let's see. Como el verbo, ¿verdad? Eh, con los pronombres. I. Let's see. With I. You. And we. And also they. We are going to use. How. We are going to use how, and with the third person, which is he, she, and also it, we are going to use has. Yes. Has, we are going to use has. So look at this example. I have, you have, he has, he has, it has, we have, and they have. Do you have any questions until this moment? Question. Mm, do you have a question? Tell me what is your question. No question then. No question. No. No, de no. La auxiliar, teacher, no, no sé si me lo puedo, lo puede volver a repetir, por favor. Mm, with, with part. O sea, entiendo cuando es el verbo, pero cuando vamos a utilizar el auxiliar, o sea, como have, eso es lo que no me ha quedado claro. Mm, ok, utilizamos este auxiliar ¿verdad? para decir que hemos hecho algo en algún tiempo en el pasado, si es una actividad que todavía no ha terminado o que la hemos hecho repetitiva, repetitivamente, la hemos hecho muchas veces. Eh, let's see, for example, in the first one, I have eaten almond cookies. Aquí no hay un tiempo específico. Solo dice, yo he comido, yo he comido galletas de almendra. No especifica el tiempo. Eh, you have done a cool son the same way. She has done very well. So, para decir que hemos hecho algo. Entonces, ahí utilizamos el verbo, perdón, el auxiliar have para este hemos. Por ejemplo, yo he ido al parque. Dice, I have gone to the park. Y yo he comido pulpo. I have eaten octopus. Or I have tried octopus. Ok, ahora sí, gracias. Ok, thank you so much. Then let's continue with this. Let me raise this note. And let's continue. Okay, now let's listen to this small conversation and say a little of the question and also the answer in which they are using the present perfect. So let's listen. Listen and practice. Can you listen? Can you listen? Yes, to I listen. Yes, okay. Then practice. <laughs> it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. 
Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this small conversation? Already? Already, it means, Already? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other word? Use a few days. Okay, let's see. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. Solo unos pocos días. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can wait. I can wait to show you this kitty. Have you been to a jazz club yet? What's the meaning of jet? <clears throat> Aún. Aún, verdad? Todavía. Yeah, mm. I have already been to one. Oh, well, how about the riverboat tour? Mm, I have already done that too. <clears throat> ¿Ya fue al río o no ha ido al paseo en bote en el río? <clears throat> ¿Ya visitó esta atracción turística de Nueva Orleans? How about a riverboat tour? And to answer, um, I have already done that too. Ya hice eso. Ya hice eso también. Have you ridden a streetcar? Have you ridden in a streetcar? ¿Ya te montaste en el tranvía? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. En realidad, así es como llegué aquí hoy. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. What is the meaning of the last phrase? My feet are really killing me. Do you have any idea? Mis pies me están matando. <clears throat> okay, that is a literal translation. Sería, me duelen los pies, ¿verdad? O estoy muy cansado. Estoy muy cansado. Ya hizo muchas cosas en los días que ha estado ahí. So, let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and then we are going to practice. Oh, let's pay a look at the question. Have you been in New Orleans? Long? It means, ¿has estado por mucho tiempo en New Orleans? Then she said, just a few days. Have you been in San Miguel? Have you been in San Miguel? Guys, you? Have you been in San Miguel? Then the possible answer are yes, I have. That is a short answer. Oh no, I haven't. Those are the possible answer for the it's question. Good. Yes. Se puede ocupar también la respuesta no yet. Ok, sí, sí podemos utilizarla. Sería otra opción. No yet. No, todavía no. You say no. No yet. No yet. Todavía no. Now, have you been in San Miguel? Any answer? Have you been in San Salvador, for example? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Have you been in, let's see, Coatepeque Lake? Have yes, been... I have. It's amazing. Okay. I have to visit that place soon. Uh, have you been in El Cuco Beach? Yes, I have. Have you been, yes, at I have. Have you been in the Iztalcos Volcano? Can you repeat, please? Have you been at the Iztalcos Volcano? No, yet. No, I haven't. Okay, no, have I you haven't. been? No, you haven't. Have you been in Cojutepeque? Yes, I have. 
Okay, have you been in Santa Ana? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, now, that was the first question. Let's see, have you been to a jazz club? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Ya han estado en un club de jazz? No, I haven't. No. no, I have. Okay, have you have you have a riverboat tour? Yes, I have. Great. Have you ever ridden in a street car? ¿Han subido alguna vez a un tranvía o un tren? No, no hay. Yes, problem. in the in the museum uh street car. And okay. uh, Suyapango. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I know that place. Es cerca de la terminal, la terminal antigua. Es correcto, teacher, que por cierto hoy es el parqueo. De ahí eh, es Nuevo Cisco, por cierto. Ah, great. So, let's see. That's nice. Let's listen and let's pay attention to the pronunciation and let's practice this. Just a second. Here we go. Listen again. Pay attention to the pronunciation and also the intonation of the words and phrases in this conversation. And then we're going to listen practice. and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, before to start practicing, take it easy. What is the meaning of this phrase? Take it easy, man. Take it easy. What is the meaning of that phrase? Take it easy. Tranquilo. Okay. Yes, yes, no. Okay, keep calm, right? Be quiet, okay? Take it easy. Take it easy. So let's start. I do volunteer to practice in this conversation. Who wants, who wants to try? Hey, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Vladimir. <laughs> and Ingrid, thank you. Okay, let's see. Ingrid, can you please start? It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've been already been to one. Oh well, how about a river book tour? Oh, I've been already done that too. Had you riding in a street car? They are not fun. Actually, that's show I walk here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really use use one too. Take it easy. My feet are killing me. Thank you very much. Excellent job, guys. Thank you. Can you identify some past participles? of the verse in this conversation, which are some past participles. Killing me? Has mm -hmm. you been? Mm -hmm. Killing me? Mm -hmm. That is not one. Had you been? Already been to one? Been, been is one, yeah. Been, that is one. Have you been? Done. Been. Done. Yes, done. I have already done that. I've already Riding. done that. Riding. Okay, ridden. Ridden, have to ridden in a street car. I got. Mm, got. 
Mm -mm. God is simple path. Very simple path. Very good try. Okay, let's go with the next information that I have here for you. Listen and practice. Okay. Let's make it so no, there. Here we go. Present perfect. And this is already in get. And this and this information. And then we're going to do. Present perfect. Already? Yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. Okay, now these are the equation, right? Equation to form sentences in simple present perfect. To make an affirmative sentence, we need a subject. That is what we're going to need, a subject. Para una oración afirmativa, necesitamos un sujeto. Plus, the auxiliary have or has. It will depend on the personal pronoun. And then we need the past participle of the verb. Past participle of the verb. Plus a complement. That is what we're going to need to make an affirmative sentence. This is the structure that we need to follow. Subject, have or has, past participle of the verb, and the complement. Let's see, for example, ya estudié para el examen final. Ya he estudiado para el examen final. ¿Cómo sería esta oración? ¿Cuál sería el sujeto? I have studied for the final exam. Okay, excellent. Si say I have, Start. we can use already para decir ya. Okay, already. I have already. Then we need the past participle. Como es un verbo regular, es el pasado simple, studied. I have already studied for the final exam. And I have the sentence. Subject have auxiliary have already studied, which is the past participle form of the where is for the final exam, the complement. So easy, right? Como digo, yo he ido al cine muchas veces. I have gone to the movies a lot of time. Okay. I have gone to the movies. A lot of time. Eh, ahora, Cristian. ¿Cuál forma necesito? Have or has para completar esta oración. Has. Cristian has gone, which is the past participle form of the verb go. Cristian has gone to the movies many times or a lot of times. Muchísimas veces. And now for my question. Para formar una pregunta, tengo que poner el auxiliary have at the beginning of the sentence. I need to write the auxiliary at the beginning of the sentence, like in the examples. Have you been? Has he? Has he? Have they? So have you been to a jazz club? Say, no, I haven't. Um, yes, I have. 
or you can use this answer right yes I have been to several he has estado ahí muchas veces several muchas no I haven't been to one no he estado en uno uh, has he ridden in a streetcar yes he ridden in one no he hasn't ridden in one has he called home lately ha él llamado últimamente a casa yes he's called twice this week no he hasn't called in months have they eaten dinner yet Yes, they already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Now the contraction. Who wants to help me practicing the contraction? I've, you've, his, his, it, we've, they've, haven't, and hasn't. Any volunteer who wants to try reading the contraction? Just one volunteer. Who wants, who wants, who wants to try it? Who wants to help me? No one here tonight. Okay, maybe in the next exercise. Let me write this. We close this and let's go. Let's go with the next information. For present perfect, will, we will use have or has, right? Plus the past participle for of the verb plus the complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person will or about. Now uses. When we are going to use the present perfect, we use present perfect when we want to express action which began in the past and continue in the present. Acciones que comenzaron en el pasado y todavía continúan en el presente. Let's see, for example, she has worked in the bank for five years. Hace cinco años comenzó a trabajar ahí y todavía trabaja ahí. She has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. Hemos tenido este carro por 10 años y aún lo tenemos. Then, algo que comencé en el pasado y todavía continúa en el presente. She has worked in the van for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. Let's see the next. When we may reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Cuando hacemos referencia a un periodo de tiempo que no está definido. I have worked hard this week. La, no ha terminado toda la semana. But I have worked hard this week. Eh, it has rained a lot this year. Ha llovido mucho este año y todavía no termina. We haven't seen her today. No la hemos visto hoy. Hoy aún no termina. Puede que la llegue a visitar como a las 10 de la noche. We haven't seen her today. Repeated action in a specific period of time between the present and the past. Acciones repetitivas en un periodo específico de tiempo entre el presente y el pasado. Let's see, they have seen that film six times. Ella ha visto esta película seis veces. We have eaten at the restaurant many times. Hemos comido en ese restaurante muchas veces. Entonces, acciones repetitivas. And when timing is relevant or it, it is unknown. Cuando el tiempo no es relevante o no lo conocemos. Someone has eaten my soap. Cuando le comieron la sopa, we don't know. Solo sabemos que alguien se la ha comido. Someone has eaten my soap. Do you have any question about the uses of the present perfect? Question? No, teacher. Okay, then let's No, go teacher, all is okay. Okay, let's solve this then. We are going to complete this in the right for of the auxiliary have. Have or has to complete this. My sister has. Give me a second. My sister has, yes, she. My sister has eaten my cake. The children have, have, have. have. Okay, lost their passport. ¿Se les ha perdido el pasaporte alguna vez? ¿Han perdido el pasaporte? Ah, the children. Okay, your friend, been happy all day. Has. 
Yes, has your friend, he or she, has been happy all day. I never travel by I train. Have, I have, I have never. The second, I have never traveled by plane. We have plane, plane, sorry. We Number has, five. we has, we has, are you sure? We have, oh, we have, we have, we have come over here today. I have, I have, I have, I have just had a shower. My husband, my husband, my husband, has, husband has forget, has. Forget my brother. Okay. Este joven ya está muerto y no lo sabe. My husband has. Uh -huh. My husband has forgotten my birthday. ¿Se han olvidado de su cumpleaños alguna vez? Yes? No? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> How did Some you feel? Time. How did you feel? It's very sad. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, teacher, excuse me. And the number two uh, must be have. Oh, yes. I don't know why right there. I'm <laughs> sorry. Thank you so much, Jamila. The children have. Thank you. The working teacher. I must be asleep tonight. It's Thursday. I'm so sorry. So number one, who wants to read number one and number two and three, please? Any volunteer to practice? Me, teacher, Christian. Thank you, Christian. Let me start. My sister has eaten my cake. The children have lost their passport. Your friend has been happy all day. Okay, number five. Four, five, six, and seven. Any volunteer? Teacher. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay. I have never traveled by plane. We have cut our hike today. I have just had a shower. My husband has for, for, uh, how do you say, for good? Forgotten. Forgotten. Forgotten my birthday. Okay, and this word I have just, I have just had a shower. Yes. And hair. We have cut our hair today. Hair. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Thank you, Anna. One, two, and three, please. You can start, Anna. Ana, hello. Serían todas, teacher. One, two, and three. Ah, okay. And four. Okay. From one to four. My sister has eaten my, my cake. The children have lost their passport. Your friend has been happy all day. Okay, excellent. Thank you. The last volunteer. The last volunteer to finish reading this part. Me, teacher, yeah. Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I have never traveled by plane. We have cut our hair today. I have, I have just had a shower. My husband has for, forgotten my birthday. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So, traveled. I have never traveled by plane. Travel. Cut. We have cut our hair today. Cut. We have cut our hair today. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go to the next exercise in this part. And let's complete these sentences. Can you tell me? Ha llovido mucho. It has rained a lot. Okay, perfect. It has rained a lot. Nosotros hemos jugado tenis. Like 
We have played a tennis. We had. Is it correct? No, we have. Ah, okay, we have played. We have played tennis. I he perdido mis llaves. What is I the have part? lost my keys. Thank you so much, Alexis. I have lost. I have lost my keys. Paul ha tenido un accidente. Has had. Okay, Paul has had an accident. Has had an accident. And the last one. Ellos han caminado por mucho tiempo. Okay, excellent. They have walked. They have walked for a long time. Okay, y si quiero decir contractados, is it has, we have, I have, Paul has, and they have. ¿Cuál sería la contracción correcta? Who wants to read these sentences, but using the contracted sound? Any volunteer? Okay, if the volunteer, I'm going to pick somebody. Let's see. Me, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, in the first, yes. uh, maybe it's, it's rain a lot. Excellent. The second one. Um, we, we played tennis. Okay, we have, we have played tennis. We, Thank you. We played tennis. Mm -hmm. The third one. Uh, I I lost my key my keys. Thank you. I've lost my keys. I lost my I, keys. Okay. Thank you. Any other volunteer to complete Paul and they? Paul has they have. Me, teacher Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul has had an accident. They have walked walk for a long time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dave sería el último. Dave Walt. Thank you. Do you have any question under this part? Questions? No questions. Noted. Great. That's perfect. Let's continue then. So let's take a look. We are going to, we want to write the sentence. We are going to say the right sentence. Let's see number one. The window is open. Alguien ha abierto la ventana. ¿Cómo sería esta oración? Any volunteer to complete the sentence? The window is open. Someone has opened the window. Excellent, Crisia. You have a point. Second one, my hair is clean. I have washed my hair. Thank you so much. Number three, the walls are blue now. The walls are blue now. We have paint. Okay, we have painted the walls. Thank you, Anna. You have a point too now. Our TV doesn't work. Someone have or someone has? Someone Ready. has broken our TV. Okay, broken. Thank you so much. It was Trisha, right? Trisha or Anna? I couldn't see. Sorry. Uh, someone has broken our TV. Hey, number five, their homework is ready. Their homework is ready. 
I'll finish. Okay, thank you. They've finished their homework or they have finished their homework. Thank you, Anna. Very good. Let's do next. There is no food in the fridge. There is no food in the refrigerator. There is no food in the fridge. We have eaten the food. Okay, we have eaten. A second. Okay, we have eaten the food. There is no water in the bottle. He. Drink, drank, and the past participle is. Drunk. Drunk. Okay, he, he has or he has? He has. He has drunk. It's cold in the room. Emma, the air conditioning. Has turned on the air conditioning. Okay, turn, turn it on. My team is the winner of the match. We, the match. The very win. What is the past participle? Have won. Okay, have won. We have won the match. I don't have my glasses with me. My I have or has. And the very is forget. I have forgot my glasses my glasses at home. Thank you so much. Yes, I have forgotten my glasses at home. And the last one, they are not at home now. They have gone. Okay, they have gone to the cinema. Do you have any question about this? Question? No. All clear like the water. Okay, great. So thank you so much for your attention and participation. Thank you. So yes, before to let me skip my second. I'm going to start here the presentation. Okay, no question. You say no. Antes de desconectarme, desconectarnos, pueden decirme un ejemplo de Usando el presente perfecto. Una oración y se puede desconectar. One sentence and you can go to rest. Oh, today is Thursday. Tomorrow we don't have classes, right? We don't have classes tomorrow, so enjoy your weekend. ¿Quién se quiere ir primero? Tell me an example. Vamos hasta las 10 entonces. Ok. Like, um, we have listened to you tonight. Okay, perfect sentence. Thank you. Bye, Christina. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Anyone? I have been up since 9 a.m. Okay, excellent example. Thank you, Alexis. Se levantó muy temprano. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Anybody? I have lost my keys. Excellent. I have lost my keys. Bye, Stephanie. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. I have I just have... finished my classes. My class. Okay, perfect example. I have just finished my English class. Thank you, Vladimir. Bye. See you next weekend. Bye, teacher. See you next Monday. See you. See you next Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Anybody? It has I know my homework. Wait, wait, let's listen Anna first. It has rained a lot this year. Okay, it has rained a lot this year. Thank you, Anna. Bye. See you on Monday and your weekend. Bye, teacher. 
Evelyn. I have a lot of for tomorrow. I have a lot of work tomorrow. Okay, that is for the future. You say, I have worked a lot. Sería la oración. He trabajado mucho. I uh, have I, worked a lot. I work a lot. a lot. Okay, now it's okay. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you so much. Bye. See you on Monday. Good night. Have a good weekend. Anybody? I don't my homework. Okay, I've done my homework. Thank you, Francisco. Bye. See you on Monday. I have, I'm sorry. I have wake up early in the morning. I have woken up. Woken, woken I up have woken early up in the morning. Early in the morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, Jennifer. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, Jamilek, Samuel, Sagan, Ingrid, en el tono de night. Don't worry, it's just a game. I have, I have worked. I have worked the whole day. He trabajado todo el día. Perfect. Isaac, bye, Samuel, take care. Bye, good night, okay. teacher. Okay, good night. Okay. I have, I have to get up early in the morning. Um, okay. No. Este es, este es presente simple. Yo tengo que. Ah, okay. Yo tengo que, sería I have woken, sería I have got, gotten up, I have gotten ah, up I early. have gotten up early, early in the morning. Ok. Ok. Me he levantado temprano. No, eh, I, uh, quise decir, yo me, me tengo que levantar mañana temprano. Ah, pero ese es futuro o podemos utilizar oh. have como un modal para decir yo tengo que ese es otro uh -huh. uso de have ah uh, ok ok don't worry ok Ingrid, okay. Have done. bye bye ok have bye bye, bye teacher bye que tengan un buen fin de semana teacher uh -huh. eh, tengo una consulta tell me el, 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 Ha, como dice ustedes, tiene, tiene, es haber y tener. Sí, tiene los significados. Entonces, para, digamos, hacer oraciones con haber y tener, tiene que ser, eh, la oración tiene que ir simpli como, simplificada conforme a how. Por ejemplo, Y voy a decir esta, how my felicity, felicitar, no sé cómo que se dice en inglés. I have to congratulate. Continue, eh, for, cre for crecimiento. No, ajá, sería for, cre no sé, for eh, crecimiento, no sé cómo sería ahí en inglés. Por, por, mi, por mi crecimiento eh, in the world. Ok, for my achievement or my improvement. Okay. Así sería. Bien, si, si, si gusta, seguimos discutiendo el lunes, en Monday, ok? Perfecto. Bueno, ok, teacher. Bye, bye. bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye.